pick this up Thursday. And library, I don't see Amanda. Need them to make the okay, Chief. Yeah. I, stupid clock is oh. We're going to do the Right on the dot. Oh, boy, are we good. Madam good Chair. evening, sir. Good evening, and Happy New Year. Fire. Happy New Year to you as well. Reviewing the Chief's budget. Uh, this is uh, pretty clean budget that we reviewed on the, uh, no, we reviewed it before the 20th. There's fire, a yellow tab. I have one quick question for you, Chief, before we, yes, I've had questions from a couple of individuals who are residents of Hampton who have had ambulance billing, they've had runs where you bill the EMS, but their insurance wasn't enough apparently to cover the billings. Are we still forgiving that? Or? Well, that depends on individual circumstances. Okay. Um, there, there are certainly means to do that. They actually can put in a claim to, to have that forgiven, and that's done at the Board of Selectmen. But it would be a, a personal request <coughs> to correct. the Board of Selectmen. It goes through uh, finance. Right. Through, through the finance Through finance. Well. Right. Okay. Th thank you for yeah, that. Yes, sir. What is the charge for the ambulance service, sir? Ooh, off the top of my head, um, I do believe that BLS services are five hundred and forty-four dollars. I'm not sure on ALS service. I believe they're one thousand seventy-nine. You go to somebody's house, take them to the hospital. It's five hundred dollars. Am I understanding? Am I not understanding? You don't understand that they they have if they have to administer oxygen or Correct. any kind of any kind of uh, yeah. drugs, any of that stuff. It all keeps. It's all kept yeah. track of. It's so right. there's a base price and then all the add-ons. It's That's not just the transport. It's the services accompanying the transport. That's true. Like a minimum. Right. And, and we, what we do now is a package build. Uh, historically, there was um, almost an a la carte. So if they gave oxygen, if they used the nasal cannula versus a mask, or if they gave an IV, each of those charges had to be picked. Now it's a, it's a, um, it's combined billing. So if it's a BLS call and the ALS services, uh, such as medicines are not uh, administered or cardiac monitor is not used, then it's a uh, one rate charge. If those services are incorporated, then it's a second rate. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. And those charges are correct. Thank you, sir. Maureen? Um, I, just have, oh, I have a okay. question, Chief. Yes, I, under what circumstances are, uh, would the services be forgiven? Uh, again, the, the, they that, that's out of my office. When that happens, they um, request uh, a waiver of funds. There's a, we've had several in the last um, couple of months where their balance, what they've done, is gone into a payment plan, um, which the town has been working out with them separately. So um, I, I couldn't give you, for instance, as everybody's got a different circumstance. Okay. Okay. Wait, 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 wait one second. I was asking a question. Madam I know. Chairman. Uh, he was answering, if you don't mind. Okay, Thank I'm you. sorry. Go ahead. Uh, does Medicare cover the ambulance? Medicare actually, um, they have a fixed rate billing, and theirs is typically the lowest. Um, what they do is they they will pay a certain proportion of the bill. Um, balance billing on Medicare billing is is not allowed, so that portion is responsible for by secondary insurances and whatever else might be out there. Thank you. Okay, Thank you, Sonny. Sir. Yeah. On the EMT, how do you determine which hospital you go to? Suppose somebody wants to. Sure, that's a great question. Uh, a lot of times it's patient preference. Um, if they want to go to the Exeter, then we take them to the Exeter. If they want to go to Anna Jakes, we take them to Anna Jakes, Portsmouth. Um, additionally, we also are paying attention to what the conditions are of the patient, and there are certain capabilities of hospitals. Um, the Portsmouth Regional right now is a level two trauma center, and they're able to accept much sicker patients than Anna Jakes or Exeter Hospital. So if there's a, a really sick patient and they say, oh, I don't know, you take me wherever you want, well, we're going to determine where they where they go based on that. Um, a, some of the hospitals are coordinating with MGH at this point. Sure, that, the tertiary hospitals down in Boston or whether they get flown yeah, to Dartmouth. Uh, yep. Yeah, good. Yep, that's, that's on the hospital to decide. Um, our providers will decide on scene where they're going to go, and from there they make that decision and fly them out. The only other thing, and I say fly them out, we actually do that as well. We'll call DART or we'll call um, MedFlight, and they'll come to the scene for us, or, they'll, or we'll go up to the hospital to do that. And then that's on the helicopter personnel to determine where they go from there. That's a good question. Mr. LeBranch is prepared to make a motion for the fire but department. But before, before I make that motion, I need to ask Christy a question, okay? Because in the book we have three million five hundred forty-nine thousand four hundred and forty-six. yet the new number 
is three million five hundred and forty five five forty five. Christy, does that reflect the changes in only gasoline? The three five four five five four five on OBS twelve yes. reflects only changes in gasoline and, and diesel. diesel. Yeah. Okay. So that would be the number that three, I am three I am million going to five four five what? Three million five hundred and forty five thousand five hundred and forty five dollars. Oh wow. Okay. Mr. LaBranche is moving. Seconded by Mr. Henderson. Okay. I have a, a couple of quick questions in here. We did a pretty thorough review. Ice rescue this is the end of material. Yes, ma'am. We uh, at the uh, at the end of November there was a tremendous end of the year deal that um, the town manager was very hot on. He wanted to make sure that we did what was appropriate, and that you're urging as well. Uh, we were able to secure ice rescue equipment to it, a sled, uh, a reel, and some other flotation devices. So we were able to purchase that, and now that's at our price. So you're all set with that out of the training budget? Minus training. Uh, well, we, we still haven't performed any of the training yet. We got in the equipment, no. I believe, a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. You have the equipment that you need now. we now. need to, right. Now we need so to get out on the ice and train. Right. Okay. And your hose? Well, what we did, and I, I do believe on what I was here in front of you for the Warren article, I mentioned that uh, engine one and engine three have been outfit with hand lines. So on the fire truck, you see a lot of hoses. And um, hand lines are the inch and three-quarter lines that we take off first to go fight a residential fire. Mm -hmm. uh, we have larger lines, two and a half inch lines, which are more for commercial structure or larger fire. It could be a residential, but a larger fire. And also um, supply lines, which is five inch lines, three inch lines. Um, we purchased only inch and three-quarter lines, and we did that for two fire engines. As you know, engine two is out of service right now, so we didn't outfit that one. But those 35-year-old or yeah, they're going by the wayside. Lines, thankfully, are you? We're going to, yeah, they're going to be taken care of and, and shipped off. Um, any of the older hoses, like I told you, we had some that were in the 14, 15 year range. They're going to be put into um, the reserve, as you will. They're tested, so we're very confident in their ability to do the job, but um, they're going to take the place of the 35 year old hose. 35 year old hose. I just don't want you out there with old hoses. I appreciate that. Thank All you. All right. Any uh, other questions for the chief? One follow up question. Sure. In the future, yes. can we make that part of a policy when we buy a new engine, we buy new engines? Sure. So as, as you're aware, we bought engine four, right? And uh, in doing so, the, the Warren article was um, very specific and it stated to um, purchase mm -hmm. a, an engine pumper for the town of Hampton, not to purchase and equip. Right. So that's, you know, my error as a new fire chief, too, is to make sure that uh, moving forward that we do that appropriately with the Warren article and funds to cover it. Mm -hmm. um, putting that money in there so that we can actually equip it with new equipment is certainly is going to be there. Yeah, that's something specific. You can yes, sir. discuss at the delivery or whatever. It's Correct. Like, yes, we now we need hoses when we order. Sure. And, and, you know, for what it's worth, um, we got one heck of an engine there, and I know you've yeah. seen it. It's a beautiful engine. Uh, it does a tremendous job. The guys really like it. Um, it it's, it's not cheap. Fire mm -hmm. engines are not cheap, and they continue to go up. We've seen with the company that we use to purchase it, we know that we've gotten three three uh, percent price increases in the last 18 months mm. so they're they're continuing to rise those costs are rising so to make sure that we do that appropriately I'll certainly be more vigilant thank you thank you okay you have you have a question for some time yes uh -oh. <clears throat> hi chief hello sir <coughs> great you. happy new year to you happy new year um, as you recall we had a lovely discussion on new equipment we did and I wanted to make a motion, but wasn't allowed to make a motion, so I guess I'm going to have to do that tonight. Okay. But just to refresh everyone, you had requested for a new equipment, $48,950. The town manager reduced that to $22,950. That number was blessed by the Board of Selectors. Correct. Okay. And I asked you, well, what are you going to buy, and what can't you buy that you planned on buying, and you were not sure what you were going to buy. Correct. And that the descriptive sheets behind the numbers were no longer appropriate because the numbers had changed so radically. So the open question was, what are you going to buy with the remaining $22,950? My goal with uh, with that line item this year moving forward is uh, hydraulic rescue equipment. We call them Jaws of Life. You've heard of them, Jaws of Life. Um, the, the older version that we have right now that we're taking off of Engine 2 to use um, is a generator and reel system. We're looking to go to battery off. As you might imagine, that's the way of the world right now. They're much lighter, they're much safer, and they're also able to be used in places that you don't have to carry the generator and all the hoses to go with. So, so you're looking to buy a drum electric? Yeah, well, cutter, spreader, battery charger, and four batteries will cost a total of $24,000. I priced that out today. $24,000? Right. 
close enough. So you actually need another one thousand fifty. I feel very comfortable that we'll be able to do that. I, I priced it out myself. I know that uh, I have a captain, Captain McMahon, who's in charge of hand tools, and I'm sure that he could uh, do a little better job. Well, if you need twenty four thousand, just say so. We'll make it twenty four thousand. I mean, I want the budget to be accurate. I'm not just looking to cut. Me too. I'm looking to make it accurate. And I understand that. I feel very comfortable that I'll be able to purchase what I need. Right. Uh, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes. Yeah. Um, as you know, we discussed the fireworks. We did. Detailed display as well. Last one of the year. Last the year. Season. Just to remind the audience what it was about. Last year, we budgeted zero and spent 7500 We did. You want to talk on that, Mr. Jones? But that was actually paid out of the so-called Fund 26, I think. That's correct. Right. Now, Fund 26, I did some research on, and this is going to be coming up in other other budgets, fire and uh, not just fire, but police and DPW as well. This was actually passed in 2006 under a warrant article number 21, and its purpose is the funds to be expended from this revolving fund, the cost of police and fire department private details. Correct. So when you spent money for the fireworks from this fund, you were properly using this fund. That's and, just a simple fact. As as yep. I agree. Absolutely correct thing to do. But since we have a fund for that purpose, in my mind, it doesn't make sense to have a line in the budget for that purpose as well. So I really do oppose having two sources to fund the same activity when one is more than sufficient, has proven to be more than sufficient, Sure. Well, uh, and there's no reason to believe it won't be sufficient next year. And I appreciate what you're saying. However, with the Fund 26, that, that is a revolving account, which means that they have input. Um, the fireworks details, from the perspective of the fire department, does not generate input, right? Uh, we're not, we don't have um, Verizon coming in. We don't have Unitil coming in <coughs> and paying to have that, that fund created and added to. Um, when we were drawing down, that was a stopgap for that? Please. Yes, sir. You're, you're doing these fireworks the details for the village district. That's correct. But whether, that's the now under the town. whether the village district is paying for that detail or not is not relevant to the expense we're discussing. Okay? And what we're discussing is the expense of the detail. And the fund's purpose, it says right here, these funds may be expended only to fund the cost of police and fire department private detail. Highly appropriate to use the fund, therefore not appropriate to be in the budget, in well, my mind. And I understand your point. However, I would say that it's a finite fund. Um, not, not never ending. The taxpayers' pockets are finite as well. And I understand that completely. The Board of Selectmen, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Bartles here to, to talk about it. We did, this, uh, that can probably back me up. We did discuss that at the Board of Selectmen level, and they chose to take it on as a department because, and uh, forgive me, um, <laughs> Ms. Buckley, but we were talking about that through and with Mr. Rage that this was part of the town, and so it was going right. to fall under the town's budget. I'm not meaning challenging the, the expense. I'm okay. challenging how it's being financed. I understand. We have a fund to finance this expense. We ought to use the fund for financing this expense. If management and the governing body decide that this is a good expense to, to fund, then they should be funding it from the proper source. And in my mind, that proper source is the fund that was set up to pay for private details so-called Fund 26, which is actually called something a little bit different than that, of course, in the Warren article, the Hampton Police, uh, the Hampton Private right Detail of Revolving Fund, also I, called 26. Well, the thing is, with it, it, this was a stop Matt give, stop yeah. gap <laughs> measure, too. Um, uh, but historically, it, it's always come out of this budget. It's always been in there. If you look back through years and years and years, we paid for the fireworks details. Usually with Fund 26, that is for typically, not always, but could be a cruiser detail, could be a club detail, could be a, a welding detail, correct? Where they have a welder, where they have to have a firefighter stand by. And so the money goes into that, and then it's paid out of that fund for that. Um, that fund um, raises money, and typically the town makes additional funds when they need a cruiser or they need other um, apparatus or stuff, so they charge for that. And that's why that fund has a little extra money in it that it doesn't always well, However, that fund typically was not used for the fireworks detail. It's used more for welding details as far as the fire department's concerned. Fire watch. Uh, fire marshal. F fire watchers. If fire watcher, if you have a fire watch at a house, correct. So you're talking about reimbursable services. Correct. Correct. Which well, the fireworks have the been determined. Says. 
The one article doesn't say for reimbursable expenses. It says funds may be expended only to fund the costs of police and fire department private details. It doesn't say where those private details generated revenue for the fund. It doesn't say that. So then make a motion however you want. We'll see how it goes. I just want to be clear on what we're talking about here. Last year, we budgeted zero in the budget for this, yet it was paid for out of the fund. I think that was an appropriate action to do if the governing body decided that that was a valid expense to pay. That was an appropriate source for money to pay it. We don't need it in the budget. That's the centrality of the argument. We don't need to, I mean, if you want to, if you want, if others want to argue that, you know, we're going to make this fund be a little bit different than the wording in 2006 Warren article, that's another thing entirely, right? But I'm relying entirely on the wording in that Warren article. Okay, Madam Fred, you? Madam Chairman, this money's in there because the precinct is not a private party. They're a governmental agency. Huh. And therefore, the appropriation is made to pay for them because it can't come out of Fund 26 by its own definition. Well, it came out last year. Well, it shouldn't. That's why it's in here. Well, according to this Warren article, money in this fund can only be expended by the town manager. Not even town meeting can expend money from this, according to this Warren article. We put the money in because they're not Sorry. a private entity because we were asked to fund I don't object. I don't object to the funding of, at all. If the, the, the governing body and management decide that funding the uh, the fireworks detail for the village district fireworks is a good thing to do. That's not for my purview as a budget committee member to discuss. What it is is the source of how we pay for it. We have a fund to pay for it. In fact, we have this. We have, in the most recent year, paid for it via that fund. And so, it seems impossible to me that anyone could argue that it's not appropriate to use the fund next year without arguing that it was inappropriately used this year. Selectman opted to use it last year. I'm telling you what the fund says and what the town voted. It says you can't do that. You have to appropriate funds for it because the precinct is a government, not a private agency. So therefore, it requires an appropriation under the law and under the, under the, the warrant out of it. I don't you can remove it if you want. What's going to happen is that money will be taken from another line item in the fire department. Well, I mean, that's that's not a decision for the budget committee, because once we give you a budget, you, you guys can do whatever you want with that budget. Okay. We all know Mr. that. Mr. Kravitz has yeah. a question. This discussion really belongs for the deliberative session. My question is, you've got a gasoline and a diesel line that has to be adjusted. It has been sunny. Sunny, this is a deliberative session. We adjusted it on the bottom total. That's why we're deliberating, Sunny. Three million five four five five four five. Okay, uh, further questions for the chief? Anything further, sir, that you want to call to our attention? So we've got 7,500 in here. I would move to amend the, uh, the uh, present motion by reducing that by $7,500 and encouraging management to use the uh, funds, the uh, Hampton private detail fund, to pay for this if they desire to pay for it. Is there a second to Mr. Sure, no, Jones? Second and uh, for discussion. Seconded by Mr. Sure. Pierce. You understand the intent in favor of the motion as amended? That would be reducing by seventy five hundred. Reducing by seventy five hundred. Mr. Marr, Mr. Jones, Mr. Pierce, in, uh, opposed to that amended motion. Bridal, Bridal Russell, Kravitz, Lapham, Henderson, Wolsey, Pluff, Augustine. Um, LaBranch and Buckley. Thank you very much for what you do. So you've got to keep the bottom line. The bottom line. Bottom line. Bottom line. On my you. motion. Well, we do get a little carried away. <laughs> but the bottom line is five. We wouldn't want it. Three. Five, four, five. Five, four, five. That will be confirming the complete Fire department budget for 2017. In favor, Mr. Seconded by Mr. Henderson. Who moved that? Ah, Stephen. Okay. This reflects the in induction in gas that was yes. mm -hmm. yes. before yes. the recent gas price increases at the pump, right? Yes. Right. Okay. In favor of the motion. Uh, Rusty on that? I don't have a crystal ball. I have to just go over. <laughs> okay. In favor of the motion because the amendment failed. So we're going for the 
Bottom line, 3,545,545 for the Hampton Fire Department. Okay, Bridal, Bridal Russell, uh, Kravitz, Lapham, Henderson, Woolsey, Pluff, Augustine, LaBranche, and Butler. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Have Very a wonderful evening. Now, yes, my dear, knows. Ask for no, oh, Mary Louise. Well, Opposed, Mara Jones, Jones and Mara Jones. Excuse me. Excuse me. I did not raise my hand. Oh, right. Okay. We're just getting a little. Ask for abstention. Okay, good. Thank you. What is he? One have? abstention. Can I, can One abstention and two no's. Yes. Now, Jones well, is abstaining. Are you abstaining instead of. No, I'm waiting for someone to call for a vote on okay. abstention. Okay. If we were moving along here, we wouldn't have this discussion. That. It would already be done. Okay. That's right. Dear God. <laughs> One abstain. Jones abstain. It's, it's, it's there, there, is there anyone opposed? Yes. Yes. Um, Lapham and Mara. Yeah, that was one of them. Yes. We oppose. And Jones is abstaining. Jones abstaining. Okay. Thank you very much, Chief. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a great night. Thank you, Chief. All right. Have a good night. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.